Today we're going to have a look at replacing the rubber on a pencil. And after that we might get to a really dangerous and certainly not recommended way of removing toenail fungus. Okay, first of all, you need a pencil with the rubber in it that has been rubbed away. Here it is, the pencil without a rubber. Well, it did have a rubber, but that rubber has been rubbed away. You can cut away the old rubber with some sort of blade, like that, insert it in the middle, run it along the edge, do this four ways, if you can, get right down to the bottom of the rubber, and then you have to pull it out with some tweezers, some strong tweezers. Here's a strong angled pair of tweezers. You dig them into the rubber and you break off bits until you can get down to the last bit and then pull it out. And what you're trying to do is not damage this outer section with the little holes that grab onto the rubber. Now, all the rubber's gone and inside there you can see the end of the pencil. So you get one of those rubber thing refills and you shove it in there. If necessary, you can use a microplane to just shave the rubber into a suitable shape so that it fits in nicely. But you want to keep it as big as possible because it's the pressure that keeps it in. This is what a rubber looks like if it's been shaved down a bit. Okay, so you don't want to do it too much. You know you're doing it right if some of the little the rubber comes out one of those little holes that is supposed to lock the rubber in. Those little holes there. So they dig into the rubber, and if you've got some little rubber, bit of rubber coming out, that means it's dug in properly. You can then say, well, maybe that rubber's a little bit long, or you might like it that long, or you might say, I'd like it a little bit more pointy. And if you like, you can use your trusty scissors to sharpen it. And if you like something slightly less rough, you can plane that off with your microplane, but after using the microplane on shaving down rubbers, make sure you clean it before you shave down some ginger or some other spices. And here it is, all smoothed out, ready for use. And so with that little pointy bit, you can have a, a mistake in the cryptic crossword or the Sudoku. Very good. As with every invention, we have a number of prototypes, proofs of concept. Well, here is one. Wrapping around a bit of gaffer to secure the thing on the end was one of the methods that we used before we discovered that you don't actually need to wrap anything around it. But before we discovered that, we used gaffer. And Mark II, on one occasion, we used a rubber band. Now, that's probably going to work quite well. And even when the rubber wears down, so there's no more rubber left, there's still a rubber band which will work as a rubber. It's excellent. It's fucking beautiful, that's what it is. So do all your pencils when they get past the point of being usable anymore for rubbing, erasing, doing that sort of stuff. And the quicker you do them, the quicker you can get onto Mungo's Cryptic. There we are, a number of pencils which have had their erasers removed and replaced and three more which are urgently awaiting running out of rubber so that we can replace them. How to remove the toenail fungus method one. Remember this is a joke. Do not try this. Do not do it. Do not follow this advice. Actually, follow the advice about not doing this. The second method is probably a better one because it gives you plenty of time to stop doing it before you cut your toe off. And once again, this is a joke. It's not really advice about how to remove toenail fungus because what it suggests is to just cut your toenails off and that wouldn't be nice. In fact, you'd be torturing yourself and being very silly. Don't try it. Don't do it. And the third method is with a very heavy machete. That's probably something that you wouldn't want to do either. In fact, I'm pretty certain of it. It's 
So you don't want to just give your toe a great big whack with a machete. That leads to hospital visits, microsurgery, and all other sorts of expensive stuff. We don't want that. Go back to filling the sacks of disposables and putting in rubbers. Yeah.